hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i have not posted any video for a long time so today we shall be performing the iodine clock reaction and we it is a very complex reaction and there are two parts of it and it has a great chance of failure so i shall be performing it anyway so without further talking let's start so here are some vitamin tablets guys let's crush them so guys i have crushed them well and now i shall put it into a conical flask and mix it well with distilled water i'm filtering the solution with tissue paper to get better results i added some iodine solution now i added some distilled water and our solution is ready and i marked it with a i took corn starch in a beaker and added some boiling water i am filtering the solution with tissue paper to get better results i added some hydrogen peroxide but i accidentally turned off the video and i was unable to record it and mark the solution as solution b i am mixing 50 ml of solution a and 50 ml of solution b in a bigger conical flask okay let the solution stand for a minute and just concentrate on the color of the solution and wait wait the color will come just concentrate just concentrate and uh, concentrate and 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 oh my god wow you can see that the color changed in a millisecond and this is one of the best experiments of my life I took the solution in a beaker and trying to find out that if on heating the solution changes back to its original color. As you can see the solution is boiling and the dark color is starting to fade. I am carefully pouring the solution in a conical flask and let it cool down. As the solution cools down, the color changes again to deep blue color, and that is why the reaction is called the iodine clock reaction. Thank you guys for staying till the end of the video, and goodbye for now.